Hi, my name is Melissa. I am 39 years old and I have limb girdle muscular dystrophy and um, I have been pretty much in respiratory failure since 2001 and it's now November of 2011 and um, I chose to not do anything except for nighttime uh, BiPAP since 2001. My body has uh, pretty much accepted that it uh, uh, the breathing wasn't as good but here in the last probably year I have noticed that it's been quite bad and I've had to lay down a couple hours a day so uh, that was just not really good for the lifestyle that I have so I did a lot of research and um, I was totally against getting a uh, tracheostomy for a ventilator. Uh, not that it's not right for some people, but I just felt like uh, with all the research that I had done, it wasn't really right for me. So I was looking for uh, different alternatives. And I'm from the Kentuckyana area in Southern Indiana, and uh, there's not really anything other than the trach that's sort of available for, for us and um, I looked around and found the non-invasive uh, breathing assistant ventilators which is more or less just a ventilator that is normally connected to you through a tube in the neck the trach but instead of that the tube comes around and it is on uh, a mouthpiece and you trigger the machine to take breaths for you when you need to. I would like to do a few videos that would help other people be able to see that this is available for people that has neuromuscular diseases and they may not necessarily need that invasive uh, ventilation. And um, I just recently got the ventilator and it's actually already showing signs that uh, I'm not as nearly as fatigued as I am right now I'm pretty short of breath because I've been talking and I haven't done it so I will now show you kind of how what I do uh, here we have the stand that holds the hose to my right maybe it'll be on your left I'm not for sure and the hose just feeds up through on a stand that's connected to my wheelchair and that stand is actually a microphone stand which they work perfectly there's not really a medical device out there that would do the same thing that would hold that for you so uh, we purchased the microphone stand and it works pretty good so far so anyway when I want a breath all I do is lean over and place my mouth on the mouthpiece and I take however many breaths that I want to so I'll demonstrate that now for you Now, there it was. I took about three or four really good deep breaths and it helps me uh, uh, fill my lungs to the volume that it needs to fill. And um, it helps me to breathe a lot better and not be as fatigued. So you can either have it here in front of you or it's easily gotten to or I nudge it with my head out of the way like that. Or, you know, however you're most comfortable with. There's many different ways that you can use to hook the mouthpiece around to your mouth. I've chose this way because I am a little bit more mobile uh, with my shoulders and head moving. I'm not able to lift my arms, but eh, I can use, you know, a little bit of my head and mouth to be able to grab a hold of it. So I look forward to doing a few more of these videos to showing you more how I do it in the back. And my husband will help with that. Thank you.